I'm going to debunk this world mission church that believes there is a mother God. Look at Jeremiah chapter 7, and then we're going to also turn to Jeremiah chapter 44. Jeremiah 7 and Jeremiah 44. Here's their logic, okay? Pay attention. This is their logic, what they're always going to do. They're going to mention that there is God the Mother. Now, obviously, how you debunk that is, well, where's a verse? Show me a verse on that. There's no such term as God the Mother in there. Now, what they're going to argue is that, well, look, you believe God is the Father, right? Yeah. Okay, this is their logic. The logic is, if God <laughs> is a Father, if there is a Father... What's logical? Father. So there should be a mother. It makes sense. Why else would there be a father if there's no mother? Oh, yeah, it kind of makes sense, you know? So that's their logic, how it works. Now, the thing is this. Then, you know what we can argue right here? If this is their logic that because there has to be a father, how can a father exist without a mother? See? That's their logic. Well, here's another thing. How can this father exist then without a grandfather? <laughs> yeah, right? See, this is dumb. This is an <laughs> incredibly dumb argument. Not only that, you have to have a grandmother too. You know? <laughs> Otherwise, how can this father uh, exist? Not only that, I mean, if there's a father and a mother, let's be logical here, okay? I mean, give it like, they live for eternity too, right? Eternity? Mm -hmm. So there should be somewhere where there's a twice-removed cousin somewhere. <coughs> so I guess we can argue that there must be a twice-removed cousin then. God's got a family tree. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what, uh, I mean, they're going to be bored. So, I mean, usually it makes sense. Think about it. you got a father, you got a mother, you got a couple of kids. And then, you know, they're going to be lonely, so you might as well put a pet dog with that one. <laughs> What are you doing, Pastor? No, I'm. this is their logic. How can a father exist without a mother? That's their logic. So if we're going to do that, we're going to have to say this, well, then how can this father exist without a grandmother and grandmother? And it's logic that if there's going to be a father, eventually, if you give it eternity, think about it, eternity, you're going to have to put a pet dog somewhere, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is, okay, you know why that's a ridiculous argument? It's very simple. Why do you not believe a twice-removed cousin, a grandmother, grandfather? Why don't you believe in that? The reason why is because there is nothing in the Bible yeah. that shows this. Yeah. Amen. It's the same thing with this individual. There is nothing in the Bible that mentions about the mother God. There is nothing. That's the same thing we can do with the twice-removed cousin God and a grandfather God. Maybe a pet dog god one day. I don't know, man. So the thing is this, is that obviously you got to realize there is no Bible verses. But here's another thing. The reason why they think this is ridiculous is because they're thinking in their head, God doesn't need these for him to exist as a father. Use your head. He doesn't need this either to be a father. Amen. Why? Amen. You are restricting the power of God. That's right. For familiar, uh, he does not need familial relationship mm -hmm. to become a father. He does not have to have a connection with a mother and someone giving birth to him from a grandfather, grandmother. Look, as a father God, don't you think he can just produce children just like that? Yep. Amen. And that's what we believe. Amen. Out of the breath of his mouth, he produced children like that. Mm -hmm. You need a mother, man? That is poor logic here. Here's another one. God is supposed to be the king of heaven. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. If he's the king of heaven and there's a mother God, she should be the queen of heaven. Amen? Amen. 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 Look at Jeremiah 7. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. She's the queen of heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, we say amen to this. We can't say amen to this. Why are you scared? Why are you scared of saying amen to this? But you're not scared of saying amen to this. Praise Asterisk. See that? <laughs> amen. Semiramis, Asterisk. Yeah. Give all glory. <laughs> and the Virgin Mary with there. Okay, so Jeremiah 7, verse 18. The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire. And the women knead their dough to make cakes to the who? Queen of heaven. Queen of he heaven. That they may provoke me to what at the last part of the verse? Anger. No, he's not happy. 
So obviously there is no queen of heaven. Well, I never said queen of heaven. No, you said, you, wait, God is king of heaven, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? No, no, he's not. What? No, isn't he king of heaven? Mm -hmm. If they agree yes, then you're going to have to say that then shouldn't the mother be the queen of heaven? If there's a king, let's use our logic here. If there's a king, there must be a queen. Mm -hmm. See this? That's not logic. That is actually poor logic. Now look at another thing here. Go to, we're going to jump to Ephesians 5. You had your other hand at 44, but 44 is the same thing. It condemns this notion of the queen of heaven. You've got to watch out for this world mission society church, man. They're a cult. They're a horrendous, evil cult. Amen. Amen. You have to understand that. I'm sorry if I offended people out there. But I want you to understand this. There is no such belief that ever came out for the past 2,000 years of history that was not a popular teaching among Christian churches. If it was that, if it was that popular, we would all know about that, the Christian churches. So this is just some weird thing, some weird gig that they came up. We're going to look at Ephesians chapter 5, and then we'll look at verse 31. The Bible says, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning who? Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love what? His wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Now, here's something interesting right here. Notice that it talks about God and his wife. So this is how they prove a mother God, when they prove that God has a wife. By jumping that God has a wife, you assume there's a mother God. Now, here's the thing. She's not the God mother. Who is the wife? Did you read verse uh, 32? Who's the wife? Who's the wife? You, the Christian church. Amen. Oh yeah, let's worship uh, mother God. And then you tell that World Mission Society, okay, you bow down and worship me, because I am the <laughs> wife of God. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't I do it, I ain't do it, yeah, you know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at the verse, it says the church yep. is the wife of God. Okay, you believe Mother God? Okay, praise me, praise <laughs> me then. Watch them blow the tops out of their lid then. These guys talk like Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah. That's why I'm being very sarcastic with these guys. Yep. If, you, if you think I'm being too mean, Talk with these world mission yep. guys who mm -hmm. are evangelists. Yeah, they They're are. like Jehovah Witnesses. They will aggregate, aggravate the fire out of you like a good Jehovah Witness do. Yep. Twisting, manipulating the scripture, creating a false logic that did not even exist to begin with. Mm -hmm. So when they do that with you, it's fair that you play that logical mindset with them. Mm -hmm. And then watch them get aggravated as a result. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, uh, look at, uh, we'll look at, one more, Matthew chapter 12, verse 50. Matthew chapter 12, verse 50. So I have a whole bunch of verses right here, but I'm not going to write them all down. Uh, I'm not going to look at all of them, excuse me, but I will write these down for you so that you can use these to debunk these people. Nice, thank you, Pastor. All right, so then Matthew chapter 12. <clears throat> And then verse 50, and then your other one to be Mark chapter 3, and then it will be verse 35. You know why uh, there is such a thing called like a wife, so to speak, or mother? Because look at this. Look at Matthew 12 verse 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my what? Brother and sister and what? Mother. mother. Look, we're the mother. You're the mother. Look at that. Oh, yeah, mother God, mother God. Yeah, I'm your mother. You tell them that. <laughs> the mother, the mother is the saint. See that? You know who this mother figure is? It's the saint. See that? It's the church. Mm -hmm. It's the church. It's not a separate figure. Now, we're going to also look at Galatians chapter 4, uh, Revelation... Galatians 4 and Revelation 21. Galatians 4 and Revelation 21. This is their favorite passage. One of their favorite passages. Look at Galatians 4. 
and Revelation 21. I have a video about, uh, I forgot the title, but it mentions about three mothers, you know. Mm. I have a title about three mothers, and God has a mother or God has a wife. And I prove to you that who that mother, who that wife was, was a Christian church. It's not some kind of separate being, some celestial female deity out there mm. that we have to worship and bow down to. No, it's us. Mm -hmm. It's us. Okay, we're going to look at Galatians chapter 4. You ready? Look at verse 26. Yep. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is what? The mother of us all. Oh, we got a problem here. Oh, so then, yeah, this uh, mother God is this new Jerusalem. Look at Revelation 21. So this is our mama, they're saying. They're <laughs> claiming that this is our mama. Let's look, at, let's look at Revelation chapter 21. Look at verse 9. The Bible says right here, And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues. And talk with me, saying, Come hither. I will show thee the bride. Notice, the Lamb's wife. Keep reading right here that at verse uh, 10, And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. So notice that this new Jerusalem is our mother God. So when you show them verses where the Christian is the mother, they're going to try to. Now pay attention, all right? You need to pay attention to this, otherwise they're going to walk all over you. They're going to, the only way they can stomp you is try to find verses where this mother, this wife figure, is separate from the saint. Mm -hmm. Now notice in Galatians 4 and uh, Revelation 21, it seems to show a separation from the saint. The saint is not this new Jerusalem. See? The saint is told, me the saint, is told, there's your mother. That's what it shows. So that's their logic. Now, you see easy debunking to that. You ready? This is more easy than you think. Is this a person or a place? place. It's a place. Do you know why this is known to be our mother? Because, as Russians might say, Mother Russia. Mm -hmm. Our mother country. I mean, our mother homeland. All right? We have a Russian in our church. He even gets that, okay? <laughs> it's not going to be so dumb to say, oh yeah, my mama, my mama, you know, like that. We're crying out loud, man. <laughs> so you'll notice right here, mother country is a duh statement. It's not something where there's a being and there's a mother god, oh, like stuff like that. This is a location, a building, a city. Mm -hmm. So this one is our mother home. You see that? So that's the idea why it's separated from us. But not only that, it also shows why there's a connection with God's wife here and God's wife here. Because why? These people are living in there. See? <laughs> so America voted uh, for Donald Trump, or however way you conspiracy buffs want to think that it was rigged or whatever, okay? <laughs> but let, just put up with me here, okay? Put up with me. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that I voted for him, okay? But I'm saying this, is that America voted for Donald Trump. Who are we talking about here? The country. It's a place that consisted of people. Amen. Da, da, and da. Okay? Got it? Americans voted for Donald Trump. When we say that, the place is connected to the person. Thus, the person is connected to the place. You get that? Mm -hmm. So these World Mission Society people... They are aggravating, wicked, corrupted, cool. sly, serpent-tongued people. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not only that, uh, yeah, I've got yeah. so many verses that this is not even funny, so we're just going to turn to one verse, and then we'll, uh, we'll look at two verses, and we'll call it a day, two. Look at 1 Timothy 2 and Acts 4. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and Acts 4. Now, I'm going to overload you here with these other verses. I'm going to say this. And those, uh, those of you watching online can just write it down, okay? Those of you watching us online can write it down. You can also look at John 14, 6, Isaiah 43, 10, Revelation, <coughs> Revelation 19, 11, uh, excuse me, Revelation 19, 1 through 2, Revelation 19, 1 through 2, Psalms chapter 68, verse 20, Psalm 68, verse 20, and Jude 
24 through 25. Jude 24 through 25. If God the Mother is someone we have to turn to for salvation, my question to you is this. Why are there so many verses that shows that God is a male, not a female? And not only that, he is a male who is the only person you have to turn to for salvation. Amen. So you get that? Only a man could save you. A male Amen. gender could save you. That's what the verses point out. No, I don't believe that. Well, look at all those verses I pointed you out. It always puts him at a male gender. And not only that, this male chauvinist dog that we got had the audacity to claim, to claim, nope, not any female, me. Me. Only me. I'm the only male. Look at that. Okay, look at uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. What did the Word of God say right here? For there is one God. See that? How many gods? One. Wait, wait, wait. One or two? One. One. Oh, look at this. What is this, man? What is this? <laughs> Heresy. Heresy. That's it. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the woman, Christ Jesus. No. Nope. Christ Jessica? No. 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 Christ Jesus. <laughs> it ain't uh, Christina either. No, it ain't Christine. It ain't uh, anything else. Okay? It's... It's not Barbara, it's not Iris, Amen. it's Amen. Christ Jesus, see? Oh my God. Okay? It's Christ Jesus. So you'll notice right here, the man, did it say man or woman? Man. Man! Okay? So what, what, what is it? We need a mother to turn to for salvation. Oh, you go for it, okay? Not me. You go for it. Mystery devil. Now look at Acts chapter 4, verse 10. Acts chapter 4, verse 10. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of who? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom he crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by, notice, him, doth this, what? Man. Uh, wait, wait, woman or man? Man. Man, stand here before you whole. Now, I'm not trying to deliberately stomp out, stomp women and make them feel bad, all right? I'm not trying to do it. I'm trying to stress so much on man, because these world missions, so, uh, these world mission church guys, just don't understand that how many times they see he he man man and not only that the only person for salvation I mean what more can I stress on let's keep reading right here uh, this is a stone which was set at naught of you builders which has become the head of the corner neither is there what salvation salvation in what any other you can't put under anyone for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. When they pull you up, you have to get saved through this mother kind of deity. You pull up Acts chapter 4, verse 10 through 12, and then you're going to spank the socks out of them. Amen. That's what's going to happen to them. You only one name, <clears throat> and it's a man too. He's a man, not a woman. This is totally off the charts. You don't need a mother to save you. This mother needs saving from the Father. Amen. Because that's us. That's us.